Hey traders, Marcello here, founder of the Day Trading Academy. I'm here in beautiful Guatape, which I consider the Switzerland of Colombia, just a city outside of Medellin. Today we're going to be talking about the internet that you need to be able to day trade. Most of you guys in the West, you know, United States, Canada, most of Europe, even though Europe a lot of times has some issues, Australia, most of you guys all have good internet. The, the issue arises obviously when if we're going to travel around the world, right? South America, Asia, Africa, the, the reliable internet around the world for the most part is already there, right? At, you know, the, the high speed internet from, from that started in the 90s, 80s. It's uh, it's all over the world now, so we don't have to worry so much about reliable internet, which is the most important thing when it comes to day trading, right? We can have a very slow connection, but we can't have a connection that cuts out every all the time. The most important thing is having that reliable connection, and then the second thing, obviously, is the speed. Most people still think that we're in the 70s and 80s when only the brokers could connect to the to the exchanges and the internet. Uh, wasn't that fast but now obviously after the 90s when high-speed internet came along everybody has access to high internet high-speed internet so minimum you need for download is 1 meg minimum you need for upload is 0.5 for those of you that don't know internet speed is gauged by download and upload right because we need to receive information and we need to send information so receiving information obviously means seeing the charts right getting the data from the exchange and uploading information is when we put in our orders and obviously if we have a very slow connection and we put in our order there can be a delay when connecting to the exchange and even though it's not that important to have super super high speed internet we still need it to be at least fast enough to be able to connect to the exchanges so absolute minimum that you're gonna need is 1 meg for download 0.5 for upload uh, and most important thing obviously is make sure you have a reliable connection anytime I go to a third location around the world whether it's Africa or Asia or, or a random island somewhere I always make sure that I test the internet speed you guys can go to speakeasy.net and also there's other sites that allow you to kind of check the reliability of the internet as well so that's what you need to know about the internet to be able to day trade let us know if you guys have any questions and we'll leave you guys here with a beautiful view ciao